These are not real stories of ideological <coughs> origin. These stories are fabrications. These stories are fairy tales, you say. These stories are myths. So I guess I'm busted if I hope that any of you would accept such fantastic explanations how these very real and fantastic geological wonders first came to be. Now, just to set your science skeptic minds at ease, it has been determined that all of these incredible formations resulted from an eons long process of massive volcanic flows, uh, cooling, fracturing, and erosion. Now, these natural wonders were formed millions of years before the emergence of mankind. But even today, to look at these incredible formations is to understand how such imaginative stories could be inspired, then told and retold through the centuries. These two fantastic stories perfectly illustrate our perfectly modern default reaction to the question of myth. We strongly reject myths because we strongly desire to separate fact from fiction in our modern belief systems. Today, separating fact from fiction is considered a very righteous motive, and it is. But it's also become a very easy, very simple dismissal of sorts. A believe nothing because you can't believe everything dismissal of any alternative dimension of thought. Now, in the last couple of months, we've explored the question of synchronicity, another alternative dimension of thought that often prompts this very same default reaction. The reaction occurs when an unexplainable but meaningful intersection of life events takes place. Even if we're amazed by the meaningful outcome of these intersections, many of us routinely choose coincidence over synchronicity. It's because we can't separate the fact of what's happened from the unknown fiction of why it's happened. As I was writing tonight's presentation, it struck me that choosing random coincidence over meaningful synchronicity is like choosing not to believe a unique personal myth, although I wouldn't have expressed it that way last month. And if last month we offered a thoughtful, if not completely safe path from coincidence to synchronicity, tonight I'd like to offer some new thoughts on a possible, equally unsafe path from myth to mystery. 